Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Samantha and today I'm going to be sharing with you the items that I've picked up from Primark. I did have more items that I picked up. I um, purchased quite a few baby items from Primark and a few from Next. I've already given them to my daughter because she was in desperate need. She was advised she was having a seven and a half pounder because she's only a size four to six in clothes. She in fact had over a 10 pounder. So he was over 10 pounds. Um, so all of the clothes that she actually purchased didn't fit him. So I've raced over there today, my husband and I, went over to see him for the very first time. He's absolutely stunning. He's now got some clothes that fit him because she's been squeezing him into the clothes that she purchased. And um, yeah, I'm just so pleased that I've seen him now. He's absolutely beautiful. And even though he was over 10 pounds, which is huge for a baby, um, he's so tiny, so gorgeous. He's got this shock of dark hair absolutely beautiful he actually looks like he's got a suntan as well and funnily enough my eldest son was born with a suntan not jaundice but he, he's never got rid of it either absolutely beautiful both of them okay so I'm going to share with you the items that I picked up I've got I think one or two items one item from the sale I think but anyway we'll get into that in a moment um, next month's haul will probably be a little bit bigger but what I will say is that any baby items that I purchase in the future I will of course share with you and also I did intend on buying myself more items but when I went to Primark they had a lot of like a gym wear um, a lot of sale items um, and the, but they were very very Christmas inspired so they wouldn't be suitable for now um, but they also had amazingly because we're now all having very cold weather and some of us have snow um, they actually had available swimwear uh, sarongs shorts t-shirts sandals and everything like that so I was intending on buying a little bit more and treating myself because I haven't actually been to Primark for a while um, but I couldn't actually find anything that would suit this weather um, but I have found a few items so you know I'm really pleased about that. So the first item I've already purchased, this is a repurchase. I cannot do without these at the moment and it is these gloves. So these, like I say, are my second purchase of these. They are only a pound, but they are so, so good. They have this little, it looks like a gem, um, but it's actually a little um, like shaped, like stuck on, I suppose it is a gem but it's multi-faceted and it's multi-coloured as well. So it really catches the light. I've got these in black. Of course, I've already got them in this blush colour. I've also got them in grey. I love them and they are perfect when I'm walking the puppy. In fact, I wear these every single time I go out and yeah, I couldn't resist picking up another pair. Like I say, Primark has all of this um, summer wear now available and I was a little bit concerned that I wouldn't be able to pick these up um, anymore because obviously they are now discontinued continuing the winter and going into summer. So I picked these up, they'll be perfect for me over the next few months because here in the UK, we will probably have cold, um, if not rainy weather, um, for a good few months as yet. Now this item I did actually pick up from the like summer wear collection, but I couldn't resist. They also had quite a number of like the Alice bands and I've already uh, purchased one of those, like the cord Alice bands with the knot in the middle. I nearly picked up a blush version and then I saw this. And this was two pounds and it is, you know, something that, you know, goes like an Alice band, but it goes all the way around your head. And I really like the fact that you've got a knot in the middle. It's like a twist, I suppose, or a um, it goes through the other material each side. It's elasticated. And yeah, I really love the colours. And funny enough, I was actually wearing a bright yellow, um, like a coatigan when I went into Primark and this matched perfectly. And I really love the bright colours. Yellow is a, definitely a favourite colour of mine to wear. And I just love it. Absolutely love this. And it looks so beautiful on and goes with so many, uh, you know, pieces of clothing that I have. In fact, it would go with this and brighten up this cream um, jumper. So yeah, really, really love that. They had loads of these. They also had a lot of the Baker Boy style hats. But as I've mentioned before, I haven't actually got a big head. Uh, <laughs> I thought it was my head, but a few of you have actually now told me that the hats in Primark don't fit you either. I would have picked up a few of those, but none of them fit me. 
but something that does fit me in the hat department is this. Now I actually picked up one of these in the blush pink and when I saw this I thought I cannot resist. Now they're calling this one just pink. It looks more like a um, raspberry pink that kind of thing but I've had my blush one now for a long long while. It needs a wash now um, <laughs> because it's got a little bit of makeup on the inside but I've worn it every single time I take the puppy out for a walk and I needed a fresh one so I can pop that now in the wash and this was perfect. Again they had a number of these I was really tempted to get the yellow version um, again or the mustard version. I think I may have to go back and get it but I really love the pom-pom on these. It looks stunning. But yeah for two pounds um, you know you can't beat it. So again I picked this up. It is woolen obviously and it stretches so it fits my head. <laughs> so I'm very very pleased about that. So that is those and that's all the accessories. Now we get on to the uh, few pieces of clothing that I picked up. I actually picked this up in the sale and I did notice this um, I think either just before Christmas or just after and it was full priced which is £13 and it is this dress and it's woolen now I used to not actually get these dresses because they just didn't suit me but I picked it up in large it was the only large left they only had I think small um, left now usually I would be in a size small to medium but I just I'm still even though I've lost obviously quite a bit of weight I'm still at that stage where I don't want anything too figure hugging it's like these jumpers these are also in Primark I've got a handful of these now and I always get the XL just because I don't you know I'm still not at that stage where I want everything really fitted close to the body and it's the same with this so this is a very very long dress um, it's just below my knee and I'm about five seven ish give or take a few um, but yeah I'm about five six five seven and I really loved the stripes on these usually I'm quite a I like flat colors I don't like stripes but this really struck me I loved the button detail um, I just love the colors and I'm obsessed with this powder blue at the moment as you'll see in a moment but this was 13 pounds reduced to five pounds so I just couldn't resist and I tried it on this morning and it looks amazing. It's not really close, uh, closely fitted, which I really wanted. I think XL would have been too big. The shoulders wouldn't have fit properly, but this just looks amazing on. And I think it would also go through spring, you know, with, with a little, um, when it's not too warm, but it's also not too cool. It's going to be perfect for those kind of days as well as now wearing around the house. Um, obviously I can wear it with boots if I want to, or of course heading into spring with a like flat pumps and I could also dress it down with um, you know like canvas shoes as well so yeah I'm really really looking forward to wearing this I love it for five pounds you cannot beat it and it's something that I'm so thrilled that I can now wear okay now the last two items now I said it was a small haul it's not huge like I say I couldn't find that much in Primark that I really really loved and wanted to spend my money on but I found these jumpers and these I think are new. Like I say, I haven't been into Primark for a while. And again, um, it's blue. I'm just gonna see what color they're calling it. They are just calling it blue. In my mind, it's like a powder blue. Um, and it's so soft, it's absolutely beautiful. Obviously, it's very, very cold at the moment here in the UK, and I know in the US you are, well, absolutely freezing by what I've seen on the news. Um, so I'm still shopping for roll necks and winter woolies, and I came across this, and it's a dropped shoulder jumper. I picked it up in XL because I do feel that, or do find really, that when it's so cold, having something baggy, especially layered, um, really does keep you warm as well. It keeps the heat in, and of course, anything around the neck, uh, you know, I always find that if, if my neck is warm and my wrists are warm, then, you know, or, you know, if, you, if you're wearing a cuff and a roll neck, basically the cold cannot get in. Um, so I picked up this roll neck. It's in a beautiful blue or powder blue. It's quite big oversized. Of course it would be because I picked it up in XL. It's got cuffs but I really loved it. It's gonna be so big, so slouchy, so beautiful. Like I say, it's really soft um, and I just loved it. It's 13 pounds 
and I loved it so much. So there's the blue version. Let me just show you that again. So there's the blue and I loved it so much that when I went to go and visit my daughter who actually lives in Norwich, I went to Primark again. Actually, I've got a couple of other items to share with you and I picked up the cream version too. Now, let me just put the roll neck over. It didn't give me the hanger with this and I haven't actually put it on a hanger, but it is exactly the same as the blue, but in cream. So I, I just love the feel of it. And you know, when you're out on those puppy walks, those dog walks, um, yeah, they're calling it cream. Um, I just want anything at the moment to keep me warm and I love wearing cream in my videos as well. It just sets off all of my makeup that I'm trying to share with you. So I absolutely loved it. It's gorgeous, but it's like a marl, isn't it? It's a little bit like a marl. It's not a flat cream. You can see that in the actual, um, I can see it in the viewfinder and I hope that you can see it. So it's not a flat cream, but yeah, really, um, oh, it's just absolutely gorgeous, so soft. So that's the last of the clothing. And then I had to go back. Now, about a month ago, I actually picked up um, about three of these and I swapped between the Revolution um, Pro micro blading brow pencil depending on you know where I am and where I can pick it up from and also the Primark PS skinny brow pencil but I picked up three and two of them um, when I ran out of one and that's actually why I'm, um, I'm using the Revolution Pro at the moment because two of my Primark skinny brow pencils broke and um, so basically what happened was this part here where the lid is it just came apart and the brow pencil inside just where well, actually it popped out and it flew across the room on both occasions so I actually went back with the receipt because now in Primark they are extremely strict you cannot return anything without a receipt so if you try and return something without the receipt it's definitely a no-go. Um, that was actually implemented just before Christmas and they had a relaxed kind of return policy for a little while. Um, you know, if they could find your details on the computer without the receipt, they would do it. But now it's, you know, they're quite strict about, about it. And if you haven't got that receipt, you know, it's definitely a no-go. So luckily enough, I kept the receipts. I've swapped them now. So I've now got two extra brow pencils. I do find this one is not quite as good as the Revolution Pro, um, but this one is two pounds, as you can see there. It looks exactly the same, apart from I think the packaging is a little bit deeper with the Primark uh, brow pencil. And, um, but they look exactly the same, apart from the, obviously the coloration. I get them Oh, uh, both whether it's from Revolution Pro or the PS range in dark brown and this one just seems a little bit dry and not quite as creamy as the um, Revolution Pro uh, version because I've now been using this for a long long time and yeah it's not quite as creamy but it still does the job um, but it is obviously two pounds and the Revolution Pro is four pounds so it just depends on where I am where I can get hold of these products but I've stocked up now obviously I've had to um, swap them so obviously do bear that in mind when you pick these if keep your receipt because if you do purchase this and yours breaks then of course you can swap it which is what I've done today so I've now got a couple of backups of these so that is my Primark haul of course it's not that big um, at this transitional period you know we're now going into um, well obviously all of the stores and it seems Primark is way ahead now going into summer but um, with a lot of stores it's a, trans a transitional period we're going from a winter into spring or like I say, if you're Primark going into summer. Um, and it is difficult, but of course, with the weather that we're having, uh, whether you're in the US or whether you're in the UK, it is absolutely freezing. So although, yes, I wanted to spend some of my coins on some lovely winter woolies, I couldn't. Um, and even to look at the swimwear made me absolutely freezing. There's no way that I would even contemplate getting a sarong swimming costume, shorts, or a crop t-shirt at the moment. It's just too cold. But that is my haul. That's what I wanted to share with you. Like I said at the beginning, if I do pick up any um, any more baby 
um, bits and pieces. I will let you um, see them next time. It's just that my daughter was in absolute need, desperate need, and obviously she's not ready to go out yet at the moment baby was only born last week. So that's everything that I wanted to share with you. I hope that you've enjoyed it. I hope that um, it's given you a few little ideas if you obviously want to head into Primark. Um, do let me know if you've picked up any of these items or if you intend on picking them up for yourself. But as always, in fact I won't actually, this is a Saturday's video. Uh, <laughs> I always do this every single week but it will be the same place. Have a fantastic weekend and I will see you all back here on Monday. Thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you. Bye.